Hello again, everyone. Today's video is going to be on tessellation. And I'm going to go over some vocabulary words, and I'm going to use the mathlearningcenter.org website to show you an example of tessellation. And then uh, we'll do the bonus activity. So why don't we go ahead and take a look at the vocabulary now. So the two vocabulary words that we're gonna look at today are compound shape, which is a shape that can be divided into one or more basic shapes. As you can see here, I got uh, these shapes here. I've got a couple of squares and a rectangle, or based on how you interpret it, they can be you know, rectangles or squares so, as an example. And then tessellate, which is repeating geometric shapes such as tiles fit together so that there are no gaps or spaces and could continue doing so forever. Now keep that in mind when we get into more details on tessellation, okay? So let's go ahead and look at uh, some more meanings on tessellation now. So for here, I've got this example to explore here and it says the tiles in this pattern tessellate. This means that they join without leaving gaps. So my question to you is, could this pattern continue forever? And I just talked about that in the previous, uh, uh, previously, and of course the answer is yes. This can just go on and on forever, okay? So here, I just wanna give you a little bit more details on compound shapes here. We can make compound shapes by joining two or more simple shapes. We made these compound shapes by joining three polygons, which are two squares and a rectangle in different ways. We join the edges of the polygons to make one large rectangle and one L shape, which you can see here. So here's where I'm gonna use the Math Learning Center because down here it says, try to make other compound shapes using three polygons. Now I might not follow this direction per se, but I just wanna show you the Math Learning Center website and how I used it for this tessellation uh, activity here. So let's go ahead and take a look at that now. So here's the website of the Math Learning Center app, and I will leave a link in the description down below. Now I did a previous video on GeoBoards showing you uh, that app. So what I'm gonna do here is scroll on down to this part here that says pattern shapes. I'm gonna open the web app and then we're gonna to come to this function here. Now you can see all the shapes that are showing. And down here, I'm gonna open up the grid feature. And you'll see here, it says square grid. And I'm not sure if you can see it too clearly, but there are squares there. And I'm basically going to proceed to start making tessellations. Now I already set this up previously. So uh, here's this L shape. It's in the opposite direction, as you can see. And all I'm gonna do here is just drag out these squares here, and I'm gonna tessellate them. Now what's cool about the Math Learning Center is it's got these other functions, such as the color scheme here. Just click on that little raindrop there that you see, and you can change the color of the shape to better exemplify what you're doing. In this case, I wanna show tessellation of compound shapes. So as you can see here, I'm doing that successfully, changing the color, and then just dragging down the next shape here, and then I'm just gonna scroll down to that little raindrop uh, function there and just change the color so you can see that I'm forming another L shape. And this is tessellation using compound shapes here. I'm using the most basic one here because as you can see, there are a lot of shapes that you can use and you can tessellate. So hopefully you'll wanna check out this site and you'll just wanna see what else it can do, mess around with it. Uh, for the bonus activity, you don't need graph paper or ruler. You can come to this website right here, get onto this, and you can do all of the activities that you would need paper for right here. No graph paper, no ruler, no pencil, okay? And this is what I just wanted to show you here was this function of the Math Learning Center, okay? So here's the bonus activity, and again, It'll be pretty much what I've shown you here. For this one here, you're just gonna make a pattern, draw copies of the shaded shape in the grid, fill in as much space as you can. 
So I got a couple of other ones here. For this one, I basically want you to do, do, do the same thing, except right above me, you can see there are blank squares left over. So try to fit this owl shape here inside the square and do the best you can to fill it in and then tell me how many squares are left over. Okay, and then here's the next one. And again, same idea, fit this T shape inside and just tell me how many squares are left over. And for this one here, you just I just want you to copy and join the four shapes to make one compound shape. Okay, so you kind of saw uh, on the Math Learning Center that I kind of made a compound shape and then I just did at a tessellation of the other. Okay, so for this one, just take these shapes for A, these four, and make one compound shape. And for letter B, take this one as well and make one compound shape. All right, and I will leave an answer key in, in the description down below, as well as the bonus activity you just saw. Okay, so you can head on down to the link there and then try it out. So that was my video on tessellation. And I understand it might not be easy to get graph papers, so I thought I'd show you the mathlearningcenter.org function so you can see that there are options out there. If you can't get to that paper, get online and you can use this function, all right? It's not that challenging as you can see, okay? So I hope you found this video informative and enjoyed it as much as I did. And thank you so much for spending part of your day with me. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video.